There are two ways to store your mutual fund units. Either in SOA format or statement of account with an asset management company or in DMAT format with a depository like NSDL or CDSL. SOA is a traditional record keeping system and it's also known as the physical format of holding your mutual fund units. In SOA, you can redeem the MF units by entering the exact amount you want to withdraw. In DMAT, investors can buy or sell only in terms of units. Now this becomes an issue because the value of the unit changes daily. So if the value of 10 units is 10,000 rupees today, it could rise to 12,000 rupees or it could fall to 8,000 rupees depending on which way the market goes. The DMAT form also does not support systematic transfer plans or STPs or systematic withdrawal plans or SWPs. STP allows you to systematically shift from one mutual fund to another. For example, you can shift from XYZ liquid fund to XYZ mid cap fund without redeeming your units. Meanwhile, SWP allows you to withdraw your money at periodic intervals as opposed to SIP which allows you to invest your money at periodic intervals. Regarding fees and charges, SOA scores over DMAT. Maintaining an SOA account is free, while DMAT may involve account opening charges, transaction charges and even annual maintenance fees. But a DMAT account comes with its own set of advantages. You can use it to hold other assets like bonds, shares and ETFs. While an SOA allows you to download an electronic CAS or a consolidated account statement of all your holdings in one place, a DMAT account allows you to track all your assets in real time. Easy transfer of assets is another significant feature of DMAT accounts, a single nomination works for the entire gamut of assets held in it. In SOA, you have to individually enter the nomination for each AMC. It also becomes easier to transfer units if you hold them in DMAT form. Keeping mutual funds in DMAT account also comes in handy for short-term traders. Traders can pledge mutual fund units and obtain a margin loan against them. But remember, margin loans can only be used to buy securities in the DMAT account. SOA is better for investors or consumers when it comes to taking loans. This is because investors can take loan against mutual fund when it's in SOA format, even if the money is used for any purpose. And if you change brokers or distributors, SOA makes such shifts irrelevant. The entire SOA continues, only the distributor code changes. However, mutual fund units held in DMAT account can't easily be transferred to another DMAT account held with another broker. It will involve a lot of paperwork. So choose wisely and happy investing. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.